Hi, this is Kevin Croak, head coach with UCD Rugby Club. In this series of interviews in conjunction with club sponsor Crow, we talk to past and present players who share their memories of the club and how it has impacted their career both on and off the field. In this video, we catch up with Sarah Glynn, who tells us about her experiences playing rugby in UCD and her transition to veterinary nursing in Doha. Sarah, thanks for giving up the time to, to come on and chat here today. Uh, maybe to get us going, you could give us a, a quick rundown on your rugby career to date and some of your experiences in UCD. Hi, thanks for having me on. Um, I suppose my rugby career only began in UCD. Um, I'd always loved the sport, but never got to play with work. So when I went to college, I decided to give it a go. Um, I started playing in my second year in UCD and I loved it from the get go. Um, I ended up playing with two clubs at home as well. So I definitely got enough. I made up for not playing as a young one. I made up for it in a couple of years. <laughs> I never felt so belonged um, to a club when I joined UCD. It was like my first night training was a bit odd oh, didn't know what I was doing. And then as the, as the sessions went on and on, like the trust came really, really quick. I think with rugby, a sport as it is, you need a lot of trust. Even new girls that were coming on, even girls that joined along the season and I didn't know much I, I would help them or whatever I knew, I would help them along the way as well. But I think trust comes with rugby and it, it just came so easy to UCD. It really, really did. It was, it was, it was fantastic. Sarah, what did you study in UCD? Um, where are you now and how did you get there? I, um, I studied veterinary nursing. So I went back as a mature student. I didn't go back. I think I was 25 when I went back. So I was a late bloomer to the whole college scene and had to do my drinking all over again. Um, at the moment, I'm currently in Doha and Qatar, so it's in the Middle East. Um, it's very hot. <laughs> it's very different. Um, I'm learning loads. I'm working in an equine hospital, um, Al Shakab. Um, it's for the Qatar Foundation. It's um, it's the only equine hospital in the country, so we get a lot of referrals for surgeries, and we're very busy. Um, I actually work with the nurse that used to work in UCD hospital as well. So it was nice to have someone um, over here before I came over. Um, I got the job through UCD. So when I was in my final year, they, there was an email circulated around the college. Um, two of the vets that we work with here were actually teaching in UCD. So they still, they're in contact with Michael Klotz. He's the administrative guy um, for the vet school. So he sent the email out, obviously, and... I applied for the crack, to be honest. I didn't think I'd be going to Qatar. Like, <laughs> I thought I'd be stuck in the Bogarsa Kilkenny or Tipperary or something in, in the pouring rain. But, um, yeah, I had my interview and everything went well. And I'm here now 17 months. So um, I'm coming up for my second summer of 56 degrees. <laughs> Was there any game or any moment when you remember it, it started to feel like things were clicking and you were starting to get a better handle on the game and felt more comfortable in, in playing? I suppose when we played, I think it was a Carlo at home or something, and they, they're always a, a tough team to play, and I didn't really understand. It was only for my first year. But I remember, and playing at home as well, and not knowing, and penalties coming off me all the time, and me making mistakes, not knowing what was going on. But I think it was that Carlo game, and I was like, right, I know what I'm doing today. I'm not going to do that penalty. And as well... From learning from other girls, like um, obviously more experienced girls that I've been playing with and obviously following them and, and them showing me the ropes. But I think it was that game. I was like, right, no penalties on you today. And it was that game from that game on. Then I was just like, nope, <laughs> today's the day. <laughs> Is there any one game that, that kind of stands out to you as one that you really remember because everybody put in the, the effort needed or you got a result that everybody was really looking for? Um, there's a few of them, <laughs> but one really stands out is probably my first colours game. Um, obviously, it was my first year with UCD and I didn't understand the proper hype about it and all the history and I was only kind of learning. But we we played Trinity in College Park and we we bet them. And it was I remember the weather was unreal. Everyone was on form. Everyone played really, really well. It was a really it was a really good game that stood with me and everyone just clicked. It was It was a fantastic day and fantastic game of rugby. What are the, the couple of things that you'd remember um, the club would have done to help people fit in and to, to get to know each other? Um, I suppose we had the we had socials and we had fundraisers and we always had things that were going on through the year. But as well as that, like 
the girls helped each other. It, it was it was a really good community of friendship. Um, if you know, I'm still talking to the girls back home now. Um, I text them a lot. You know, we'd be on Snapchat or whatever. It's, it's like friends that you make forever. And um, there was always um, events organized by the club or just ourselves. And I suppose a lot of us were, I don't want to say um, agricultural based, but <laughs> a lot of us were agricultural based and <clears throat> veterinary based. And it's a small, it's a small community, but I don't know, I think just rugby itself and us as a group really came together as friends. One of the, the, the big social events and one of the things that's really synonymous with rugby is going on tour. Uh, the women's team have been away for a few um, eventful tours in their time. Uh, <laughs> could you give us a, a few experiences you've had in terms of going on tour with the team? Um, yeah, I suppose my I actually only went on one tour to play. So I missed the first year, I think it was to Bath. And then the second year I was there was, um, we went to Edinburgh. And it was it was such a good weekend. It was probably one of the best weekends in my life. And not just because the social thing, but like uh, even the game, the rugby game was great. And I actually ended up getting a black eye from UL the evening before. So I rocked up to Edinburgh with like this big blue eye and I was roaring on the picture and on the other team were like, oh my God, we're so afraid of her. And I was just like, let's just go, let's go at it, let's go at it. And I think um, it was really good. And I think I said earlier on about the friendships and things that come from rugby. Um, I actually surprised the girls on their last tour in Madrid. I just showed up and um, the welcome I got from everyone was like something from a film. They were all like, like delighted to see me in hugs and everything. So to be not able to see the girls for a year and a show up and get a welcome like that, I just think it shows the friends that you can make from rugby.